Hi, I'm Jason Webster, Beck Cybert's Practical Farm Research Innovation Lead. Today we are in Caneyville, Kentucky. And with me today is Brad Green. Brad has signed up for Beck's 300 Bushel Challenge. It's been about a month since we've been here. Tell us a little bit about the weather that you've had throughout the month of June and so far in July. The month of June was very wet. We probably had 10 inches of rain. In July, it started off very wet. We've had five, at least five inches of rain so far in the month of July. So mm -hmm. it's been very wet, and the last week has been extremely hot. But as you can see, the corn's, the corn's liking it. All right, Brad, we went into the field and, and, and we cut some corn out. We brought it up here. Tell me what your concerns are going forward over the next uh, few weeks. What do we need to do? What's part of your 300 bushel plan to try to get maximum yield out of this plant? I got the helicopter scheduled for later in the week to put a fungicide and insecticide application on. And we're trying to hold back this gray leaf that we can see. And other than that, we're just going to let Mother Nature finish this out. Yep. As we scouted the field, we did find some gray leaf spot, as Brad mentioned. We got a little bit on the lower half of the plant. We are finding a few above ear leaf, but it's pretty minimal right now. But if we don't take care of it with the fungicide, I would anticipate that this is going to spread above the ear leaf and that's going to hurt us shield wise. So we want to give every effort to protect yield and uh, go after uh, some of these leaf diseases. We can definitely do it with these great fungicides on the market. Brad, what, what particular fungicide are you going to use in this trial? We're going to use Headline Amp. Okay. Headline Amp is for the curative uh, qualities of that particular fungicide. Yep, looking at a, a preventative and a curative, and you're going to spray that with a helicopter, correct? With a helicopter. Now, Brad, as, as we progress through the season here, has any part of your 300 bushel plan changed, either with the weather or some of the conditions we've had out here in the field? No, not really. We're we're right where we intended to be when we entered the challenge. Uh, the tissue sampling we've done, we're, we're right on target where we wanted to be, and if we can get the fungicide applied, I think we're, I think we're going to be in good shape. And fertility-wise, in regard to nitrogen, you're, you're sitting at about 250 pounds of nitrogen, mm -hmm. multiple applications. And as we walk through the field, we really don't see any any uh, nit nit nitrogen loss or nitrogen deficiency out there. So really, I think you're in good shape. It's all going to come down to finishing this corn crop and getting through grain fill. And uh, I think you're going to have some excellent yields. One of the questions we always get from growers is, what does it take to grow 300 bushel corn? What do we need to see out in the field with girth and length? to achieve 300 bushel corn. And Brad, as we walked out in the field, um, we did a quick calculation. If we could get 18 round by 40 long at your uh, ear population of 34,500 ears per acre, what did that come up yield wise? It's gonna be about 310. 310 using? Using a heavier test weight corn. Using heavy test weight. So we're assuming about 80,000 kernels per bushel. If we would back that down to lower test weight and, and use 90,000 kernels, what would what did your that, calculation come up to? That's going to be about 275. So yield checks at 275 to 310 based on how, how heavy this corn is going to be. So that's why we say grain fill is going to be so important. We need to finish this crop with great weather to get that grain fill and get that proper test weight and we're on our way to high yield such as 300 bushels.